Greetings from the International Space Station. I am astronaut Sultan Niyadi and I'm excited to tell you about the work with the electromagnetic levitator in the European Space Agency's Columbus Laboratory. The EML is a scientific research facility for conducting materials science experiments in microgravity conditions on board the International Space Station. The science community behind the EML is a truly international group with partners from all over Europe, the United States, Canada, Russia and Japan. The EML provides containerless melting and solidification of electrically conductive samples under ultra-high vacuum or ultra-clean gaseous environments. The samples are heated and positioned by electromagnetic fields through a coil system. Here on the lower left part of the rack you can see the experiment unit of the EML. The other modules in the rack are supporting elements to provide power, cooling, gas, vacuum, and the data interface to the unit. This is where the experiments are conducted. The cylinder is a sample chamber which currently contains 18 scientific metal samples of the size of a fingertip. Some of the samples deal with solidification behavior, others search thermophysical properties such as surface tension and viscosity. One prop at a time is placed into the processing chamber where an electromagnetic field holds it in position and heats it up to 2100 degrees Celsius. In vacuum or an atmosphere of helium or argon, metals behave differently. During the cycle, the probe is heated, melted, and then as it cools down, it solidifies and the measurements are taken. The actual scientific experiments are performed during night time, when the crew is asleep and the microgravity conditions on the ISS are ideal. This helps the stability of the samples and it has good influence on the quality of the scientific data. The results of the EML experiments provide valuable input in many industrial applications, such as improving the quality of metal alloy production and casting on Earth. More than 2,000 science runs have been performed since the EML has been sent to the ISS in 2014, and we are anticipating more runs in the upcoming years. Thank you for joining me today, and see you soon.